Hello you all, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Jana and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And for those of you that are returning, today we are in this kitchen and we are cooking for our vlog. I decided to go ahead and cut up these potatoes because I plan on making mashed potatoes and grilled shrimp skewers. Now stay around for this video because I'm cutting up the six potatoes. I'm going to rinse them and just put them in the pot with sea salt while I get everything else going. Okay, so while the potatoes are preparing to boil, I am going to start preparing my onion by cutting it in four, of course. And once I cut it up in fours, I'm going to go ahead and slice across because I'm going to need these onions to be kind of wide, not so much chunky, but wide. So if you are a person that usually have tears from your onions before cutting them, soak them in some ice cold water. It will stop the onions from aggravating your tear ducts. Now we're going to start to prepare our bell pepper. I wanted to do a green, red, and yellow bell pepper to give it some color, but since we're doing pineapples yellow, also doing shrimp, which is like a pink, I decided to just go ahead and stick with green bell peppers. So as you can see, I'm just taking out what maybe consider the hearts of the bell pepper and I'm getting the skin from around it. I don't know what it is about a bell pepper. I just love the smell of it. I love the sweet taste of it. I'm going to rinse this bell pepper to get the seeds out and I'm just going to slice maybe three or four times across the top it just depends on the size of your bell pepper and then I will do another slice as I make those smaller but thick enough to go ahead and add it onto the skewer later going to put everything in a glass bowl wipe everything down and go ahead and also put our pineapple chunks in a bowl you can do a fresh pineapple but today I decided to just use a can of pineapple chunks here is a taste test I need to see if they're sweet or not they're sweet so now that we have everything close by we're going to go ahead and start building our skewers make sure you put the heaviest thing close to the bottom which is the shrimp and i just want to stack it in a way that it's easy to eat also 
in a way where it's colorful and everything will be able to receive the flavor. So for me, that was shrimp first, then an onion, then a bell pepper, finally a pineapple. I kept doing that and I saw that I was only able to put two of these grilling shrimp onto the skewer along with the onion, bell pepper, and pineapple. Make sure you're molding everything on a skewer because you don't want the meat or the veggies to fall off. You want to make sure everything is nice and snug. So if you have to take it off and put it back onto the skewer, don't hesitate in doing so, but try not to put too many holes in the different items that you're placing on the skewer because then they probably won't stay. And you just want to repeat the process over and over until you've done all of your meats, all of your veggies, and your pineapple. So far, this is what my shrimp skewers look like. I'm going to go ahead and season them. I have a seafood seasoning that has a blend of dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onions. There's so many different seasonings in this little blend. However, I'm also going to add my own garlic salt. I'm going to add onion powder as well. I just want to make sure that it's seasoned really good. The flavors are there. This should give a sweet and salty taste. Now, here's my dilemma. These were supposed to go on the grill, but it is storming outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place them in the oven and let them bake on 350. In the meantime, I'm going to also start preparing my garlic butter. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of minced garlic. Just put a, not a steak, but I used about four tablespoons of butter about that cut, put it in a microwave and let it melt. After about 30 seconds in the microwave, I'm going to go ahead and sit it to the side and let it cool while I go ahead and get my mashed potatoes prepped. So while the potatoes are already in the pot and they're hot, I'm going to add a half stick of butter I'm also going to kind of eyeball sour cream. That is optional, but it gives it this flavor that I like. I'm also going to go ahead and add shredded cheddar cheese. And with a plastic spoon, I'm going to just go ahead and fold everything in because as you can see, it's still kind of hot and steamy and this will all melt together. Once I get everything folded in and I start to see everything melting together, I will begin to add my seasonings. The seasonings I'll be using will be sea salt, white pepper. I won't use the black pepper because I don't want to see the specks in the mashed potatoes. So I'll use white pepper. I'm adding onion powder, garlic powder, and a garlic butter flavoring as well. I'm going to go ahead and mix this again with the same spoon because I don't want to start blending this without folding everything in. Now I'm going to take my mashed potatoes and transfer them to a bowl so that we can start mixing everything up. So I'm just gonna spoon it and put it in this bowl. Now we will go ahead with the mixer and just blend everything together to make sure we have the cheese, the sour cream, and all of the seasonings inside, the butter, everything is mixed together, and we're good to go. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and add milk. You can use regular milk or the milk of your choice, including heavy whipping cream. I don't like super smooth mashed potatoes. I like my mashed potatoes to be mashed, of course, but a little bit of chunks. So I won't do it until it's super smooth, but I will blend it to get a sort of smooth consistency. 
make sure you taste your mashed potatoes and if the flavors that you put in already or the seasonings rather if you don't taste it the way you want to just go ahead and add a little more taste it until you get it exactly to the flavor that you want i'm a person that i really don't like to taste my food but i've learned to taste it as i'm cooking because sometimes you can put the right amount of flavorings the right amount of seasonings and you just don't get what you're looking for. So always season and taste your food as you go. My mashed potatoes are good to go. So now I have my shrimp skewers out of the oven. Now, I wanted to broil them a little bit on low. And as you can see, the skewers started to burn a bit. So I took them out and I'm just going to put the garlic butter seasoning on top or the garlic butter mixture on top rather. And I'm just going to spread this on all of the shrimp and over the vegetable and pineapple as well. Now that everything is smoothly buttered, I am going to go ahead and plate my food. I am going to add the mashed potatoes in the center of the plate. And then I'm going to sit my shrimp skewers right on top. This is my plate and I just love for my food to look appealing. The same way it will look in a restaurant is the same way I want it to look at home. So once I go ahead and do this, I'm going to sprinkle a little parsley on the top just to give it a nice presentation. I'm also going to go ahead and fix my daughter's food as well. And I'm going to give her the same presentation and I'm going to add a little bit more butter and sprinkle the parsley on top if you have come this far thank you so much for watching my video i hope you go ahead and make yourself some mashed potatoes and some shrimp skewers if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comments and i'll be sure to respond also don't forget to subscribe